welcome back to tenslade info looks like the united states is not going to impose any sanctions on india for purchasing the s400 missile systems but this is not going to be applicable for more such future deals with russia we are not sure what type of deals are part of this exception and which one would attract the attention of sanctions from the united states side now since the russian president is going to visit india on december 6 2021 we can obviously expect more deals to be signed or more updates on the pending deals as i mentioned in my other video there are so many deals for which india needs more clarity and updates the ones which i am talking about are the ak203 the additional orders which are placed for sukhoi su30 mk and mig29 fighters the igla s deal and also about the 200 camo k double to 60 utility helicopters on top of all these the delivery status of the ordered 5s 400 missile system due to which all these us sanctions are all in discussion as india is part of other groups in which it is part of good relationship with the united states it was able to come out of these sanctions safely as per some sources it is said that The relaxation talks all started during the former United States President Donald Trump's visit to India. Even though the United States has so far not made any official statement on imposing the Khatsa sanctions on India, sources said that the Biden administration won't degrade the growing India-United States relationship with such a move. Not only that, India is also a big customer for defense products and weapons which are manufactured by the United States. and there are also many orders pending with the united states so imposing such sanctions would affect those large deals with them there are many future opportunities for the united states to win many deals with regards to fighters helicopters drones and missiles so keeping all these things in mind the united states would not be imposing any sanctions on india even if the united states it's not going to impose sanctions on india for s400 missile systems We are not sure if this is going to be applicable for all future dealings with Russia. So India should be cautious with this. So that was a quick update on the status and assumptions about the waiver of Khatsa sanctions on India. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tenslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.